and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up, it's time to look at the enemy so this is the inside of a prison cell and this is what to expect when you come to prison. You get processed through reception, then you get moved on down onto the induction wing and you come down and if you're lucky enough to get a single pad to yourself, this is what you get. You've got your little blue mattresses which are a couple of inches thick, got your little chair there, you've got your little tiny kettle in the corner, a little bog roll if you're lucky enough to have some when you first get there because normally you've got a raster screws for a bog roll because there's never normally any in but this is what to expect when you first get there this little pad I am like I say if you're lucky enough to have it all to yourself then that's a bonus because the majority of the time you're towed up and you're padded up with someone that stinks and you don't even like them so this is what to expect for people that have never been to prison before. You're stuck in here with your own thoughts, thinking about what you've done, why you've landed yourself in prison, and how the hell you ended up here. But this is what to expect when you first get there, and then you're not knowing when the door is going to be open. But for all you do good as at home, see, well, that's what you deserve. But I'm doing this for educational purposes, to teach the young kids the bleak obstacles you're going to face when you get to prison. This is your reality, and you're going to be stuck waiting for the door to be open, not knowing who's on the other side and what sort of people you're going to face. So the majority of your time in prison is spent like this, as you can see, me pad mate here up above is sitting reading a magazine that he's already read 20 times, but this is the stark reminder of prison. And there's me on the bottom sitting writing letters to me loved ones back at home telling them how much I miss them and how much I'm sorry for putting myself in this situation. But I'm here and I've got to do me time. I can't get out. The door's locked. I'm in here 23 hours a day with nothing else but me thoughts. And this is because of my actions and what I've done to lead myself into this stark situation. But 23 hours a day... We're locked in here, we can't get out, there's nothing to do, there's no fun, the telly's the same old shit. Yes, we're sitting here, we're nice and warm, we're living rent free, but remember, you're not free. You're locked away, you can't see your family, and nobody likes to be locked away from the family, not seeing them for months and years on end. But this is what's going to happen if you carry on getting into trouble and causing mayhem in your local area, and not giving a shit about your surroundings and what you're doing to people. But you will end up in a place like this, which you will not like, because prison is a hell. And whilst you're in your cell, you think you're locked away and you've got a bit of time to yourself, but think again, you've got screws like this, checking on you all the time, so you've got no privacy. So if you're lying there, on your bed, with your hands, on your balls, you're gonna get caught. But, like I say, the screws are looking on you constantly, you've got no privacy, you can't do anything without them seeing, and this is the stark reminder of prison. Then when you get out for your association time, there's about another hundred prisoners running all over the wing, trying to get drugs, fighting with each other, rival gangs, and this is what's happening. There's people getting wrapped up by the screws, as you can see, screws here, screws there, wrapping people up because they've been fighting, but well, this is what happens in prison. It's not a safe environment. People might think it's glamorous. You see the TikTok videos, people singing in the pods and dancing on, glamorizing prison, when in fact, it's a hellhole. It's survival of the fittest. Every single day, there's fights happening. There's kickoffs going on. The screws running all over the place. The alarm bells are going off. You can't get any peace. Every single minute of the day, there's noise and you're just dying to be released, but you can't because you've got a long stretch ahead of you. But this is what happens when you carry on going on daft and not realizing the consequences of your actions. 